Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just have a project share to show you guys of some cards that I made. So I was literally sitting here, I was supposed to be doing something else, making a folio like I had on my to-do list. And I was like, I want to use up some stuff. <laughs> so this was a sticker sheet I had left over um, from using the A Cozy Christmas collection by Echo Park. I used it on an album, uh, two albums. I made like the triple waterfall folio and a 5x7 album. And I had some stickers left over. Um, so I wanted to use those. And I was like, okay, another thing that's on my list was to make some um, Christmas coffee cup cards. Like shaped cards. I love doing them for every season. I made myself like my own little file and everything. So I was like, okay, we'll use up some stickers and we'll make um, some coffee cup cards. And then I was like, okay, I also have tons and tons of this plaid paper that I got from Tuesday morning. So let's use this. And you guys know I love plaid. Um, I especially love it on making these coffee cup cards because it just looks so cute and when I've made these in the past I've always done like a plaid background. I just love it. So let me show you guys what I came up with and these are all going to be listed in my Etsy shop um, and they're going to come with envelopes and everything. So let me get right into it. Okay, so here's one of the cards that I made. And you guys see I used up some stickers. I did pull in some other elements from my stash as well. Like this one has um, the snowflake behind it. It's got this happy holidays chipboard that I just found randomly in my stash. Here in the background, I cut a snowflake in half and just put it on opposite sides. It's got the gold foiled lid. It's got like the corrugated um, paper for like the coffee cup sleeve and I did put some um some sparkly tool on there so it just looks really pretty it's all layered up you've got some enamel dots as well so that's one of the cards here is another one that I made using up again more stickers I put some thread behind these little boots down here um, and for this one, this is like one of my new favorite things, um, I used this Nouveau um, mist. It's called Mica Mist. Oh my god, I love this. You guys see that mist on there? I kind of did a lot on this one, but it's okay. Um, so I covered up this part and then I sprayed everything else. It just looks so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. And all of these open up like this. They are made on 110 pound cardstock, so they're pretty sturdy. Um, but yeah, they're so cute. And you could always stick on um, a gift card back here. If you put like some double sided tape, a gift card is going to fit um, perfect back here or on here, but a gift card will fit. Um, so it's super duper cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. Just want to show you guys with an example. So you could layer a gift card right there with some double-sided tape. You could also put a glue dot. You could lay it down here, but I would probably write my message down here and put the gift card up here. I mean, you could do either way. Um, but yeah, so a gift card does fit and it's so cute. Um, so there's that one. There's this one that I made. Um, so more enamel dots. They've all got the gold foiling. I just, I love gold. They've all got the gold um, glitter tool in the background on top of the um, corrugated paper for the cup sleeve. This one's got a little sleigh or a sled um, and it says, Tis the season. This I just cut out with my silhouette and printed it. So pretty, I love it. Didn't these turn out so cute? So I have a bunch of different ones. And at first I was like trying to think of a way I could make the same one, but that wasn't gonna be working with the stickers I had because obviously it was just a sticker sheet and you don't get multiples of the same sticker. So here's another one. It's got some flowers in the background. You've got this um, white snowflake, some mistletoe, or is that holly? I don't know. It says greetings of the season. You've got a little ornament and then just some more enamel dots. So there's that one. There's also this one. This one's so simple and I love it. It's just like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. So here's a little snowflake. 
And then this is a sticker from the Cozy Christmas Collection. I've got some enamel dots. And this piece right here that says Merry Christmas, I literally just got a package with some beads. And one of them was decorated um, Christmas and this just fell off of it. And I was like, that's the perfect thing to like add to a card or something because it's got the sentiment on it. So I just stuck it on here instead of putting it back on that packaging, which I'm going to probably take apart anyway. Not the packaging, but I'm going to take the beads out. So I don't know what I'll do with the packaging. Um, uh, so yeah, it fell off instead of gluing it back on that packaging. I glued it on here and there was my sentiment on this cute little card. So it says Merry Christmas. So there's that one. I do have some more still to keep going and show you guys. So I also have this one that I made and this one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's got a little flag. It's got a wreath in the background. For this one, I did some Nouveau drops. So all that gold is Nouveau drops and this one is sprayed with the mist in the background. It's not as much as this other one though. So the other one kind of went a little overboard here, but this one looks really good. Um, they both look good. It's just, okay, can that fly like get out of here? What is happening? <laughs> I've been trying to get that fly for a while now, guys, and now it's showing up in my video. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, so here <laughs> is that other card. Okay. Fly, you need to stop and get out of my video. Um, okay. So then there's this last one that I made. And this one's got that same sentiment that says tis the season, just like that one. Um, yeah, and this one's in the background has like a little jar with like a Christmas thing. I didn't end up using that sticker sheet in the projects I made. Um, so I put it here. For this snowflake, it wasn't peeking out enough um, on its own. So I actually cut it in half and I separated it a little bit so that it was peeking out on both sides. So that's a one way that I um use those that snowflake that wooden snowflake and that one was just one i had in my stash and then there's some thread behind the sentiment so yeah those are the cards that i made they're all going to be listed in my etsy shop and available they're so cute guys such a great gift um, for the holidays for somebody and you know christmas in july so i thought i would share with you guys and the link is down below in case you guys want to purchase it i'm also going to have the link to the Nouveau Mist, in case you guys want some of that. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll also link down um, the sticker sheet if you guys want that as well. It's called the Cozy Christmas, so I'll link the sticker sheet in case you guys are interested. I don't know. Uh, I'll just try to find it all and link it for you guys. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little project share of some coffee cup cards, coffee cup shaped cards I made for Christmas. I love them. I, I I just love it so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm happy with it, how they turned out. I got another thing off my to-do list, even though it wasn't what I wanted to make today specifically, but I used up some more of that sticker sheet. So I'm very happy. And I got to use up some of that plaid paper. So I'm happy with how that turned out. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Links are all down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and click that red subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so that you guys are notified of when I post new videos. All right, guys. So I'll see you in my next video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.